There are a countless number of religions that exist in the world, but what were the first religions that were introduced to the world that gained a large following? This episode will look at 10 of the oldest documented religions in the world. Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to 50 Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton, and in this episode, we'll be looking at religions in the broadest sense and not focusing on any of the sub-branches of these religions. Starting at number 10, we have the religion of Islam. This is a monotheistic religion in which Muslims believe in the oneness of Allah or God, and also they believe in the prophets. It's said that Islam began in 622 AD and spread throughout the world within a short period of time. According to a report by Pew Research Center, there are 1.8 billion Muslims in the entire world, and that number is projected to increase to 2.9 billion by the year 2060. However though, if you do ask Muslims, they will often say that Islam is in fact the oldest religion in the world because Islam means submission in the context of submitting to the will of God, which Muslims say is the very first and only true religion. From there we move on to number 9, Christianity. Christianity was started in 300 AD before the advent of Islam as an organized religion. Christians believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and they follow the Bible. Generally, they follow more closely though the teachings of the New Testament of the Bible rather than the Old Testament of the Bible. Christianity remains the largest religion in the world with about 2.3 billion followers worldwide, making up nearly a third of Earth's population. That's a whole lot of people following this religion. But statistics show that the number of Christians in what many consider to be their religion's heartland, the continent of Europe, is actually on a decline. Moving on now to number 8, we have Taoism. Now, it was a tradition of Chinese origin that teaches living in peace and harmony. However, elements of Taoism can also be found in other religions, and it was started in the 4th to 3rd century BCE. Taoism has no founder and no founding date recorded. It grew out of various religious and philosophical traditions in ancient China, like shamanism as well as nature religion. But you see, Taoism has been connected to a philosopher by the name of Lao Tzu, who was around 500 BCE, and he wrote the main books of Taoism known as the Tao Te Ching. Buddhism is a religion that comes in at number seven. Buddhism, it's said that it started in what is known as the country of Nepal. Some say that it actually originated in India, depending on the sources. But either way, it's based on the teachings of Siddhartha Gautama. And Buddhism is the main religion in many Asian countries. It is a religion that is about suffering and how to get free of it. The central teaching of Buddhism is Nirvana, which is often referred to as attaining enlightenment, which is the most blissful state that a human being can attain. Buddhism is the world's fourth largest religion with over 520 million followers, or over 7% of the global population are known as Buddhists. Next up, let's look at Confucianism. Confucianism, also known as Ruism, is a tradition of philosophy and a religion, a humanistic or rational religion, a way of governing, or simply put, a way of life. The worldly concern of Confucianism is based on the belief that human beings are fundamentally good and teachable, improvable, and perfectible through personal and communal endeavors. Confucianism focuses on cultivating virtue in a morally organized world, and there are more than 6 million people who follow Confucianism today. Alright guys, halfway to number 5, we gotta look at the religion of Shinto. This is the traditional religion of Japan that focuses on ritual practices to establish a connection between present day Japan and its ancient past. It has many deities and they're called kami. Also, all kamis represent some natural power and it has a lot of association with Buddhism and many theories of Buddhism, as a matter of fact, have been added to Shinto. Worldwide, followers are estimated to total 3 million. So Shinto is really an optimistic religion as humans are thought to be fundamentally good and evil is believed to be caused by evil spirits. Jainism comes next at number four. 
Now, when we look at Jainism, we see that it's an ancient religion in India that teaches that the path of liberation and bliss is to live a life of harmlessness and sacrifice. Today, there are about 6 million Jains in the world, and they represent less than 2% of the total Indian population. The Jain community in India is centered in Rajasthan as well as Gujarat, and many migrated to East Africa and from there to places like Britain. The purpose of Jainism is to achieve the liberation of the soul. It actually originated from Shraman tradition of India, and its originators are 24 Tirthankaras, of which the first Tirthankara is Lord Rishabdev, also known as Adinath, and the last being Mahavir Swami. Now, the religion that comes in at number three is Zoroastrianism. Historically, Zoroastrianism began in the 6th century BC, and this religion is based on the teachings of a book called Genda Avesta, and the book is a religious book of Zoroastrians. Only a few excerpts of this book still exist though, and its oldest parts can be from the period immediately after the Rig Veda. It's written in the Avestan language, which is very similar to the Sanskrit language, and Zoroastrianism is the ancient religion of Iran, and it survives in certain areas. It's also a monotheistic religion centered on the dualistic cosmology of good and evil, and an end time prediction of the ultimate destruction of evil. Though it was the state religion of Iran at one point, and it was widely practiced in other regions inhabited by the Persian people, like Afghanistan, Tajikistan, and many of Central Asia, Zoroastrianism is today a minority religion in Iran. From there, we move on to Judaism. This religion is considered to be the oldest Abrahamic religion in the world, and there are about 15 million followers who call themselves Jews today. It's one of the oldest monotheistic religions, and both Christianity and Islam, as many of you know, have a lot of similarities and roots in Judaism. These religions believe in one God and the moral teachings of the Hebrew Bible. So yes, Judaism is one of the ancient religions, which is about 4,000 years old, and Judaism now is the central religion of the state of Israel. Judaism is thought to have originated with the prophet Abraham, also known as Ibrahim, who lived 2,000 years before Jesus Christ. Now we end this episode off at number one. This religion is Hinduism. Hinduism, or Sanatana Dharma, is believed to be the oldest religion in the world. According to mythological beliefs, Hinduism is said to be more than 90,000 years old. But according to scholars and research, Hinduism has its roots and customs dating back to about 5,000 years old. Hinduism is the third largest religion behind Christianity and Islam. Roughly 95% of the world's Hindus live in India. So there you have it guys. This was a look at 10 of the oldest religions in the world. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Join in on the conversation. Hope you guys really enjoyed this one. Really love bringing these videos to you. So if you do have any suggestions for future FTD Facts episodes, also, let me know down below. Until next time, guys, stay awesome, stay educated, and I'll catch you in the next episode.